All right, it's Mill Spec Monkey, and we're here with... Chris from CNG Holsters. All right, so we got some new goodies to show. Yes, we have our Gen 6 line that we're coming out with this year. Uh, we're going to be officially unveiling it at SHOT Show, but it's available now uh, on the website to order and at your local dealer. Nice, and would you say any certain features apply to Gen 6 or...? Absolutely. Uh, we actually took every one of the different makes and models of the different styles that we make and we presented a Gen 6 version of it. So we'll start with the competitions. All right, so I suppose just to clarify, so mm -hmm. is, there, is there a certain feature you would consider Gen 6 or is it just your latest version of every holster? Uh, I would say it's our latest version of every mold because the idea with the Gen 6 was how do we take what we do and make it better. So we take the customer feedback, any kind of the, the warranty issues that we were having that we saw over the years, or just any of the customer, the direct user feedback, and we started to add all those things together and be able to create a complete package that we can give the consumer the, of a product that's gonna last them a lifetime. Right on, makes sense. So just latest version of every host. Latest version. Oh, cool, we'll show you. What do you got here, our competition line I see? Yes. So. These are our standard competition holsters. It's 125 Kydex, so the last forever. They're all IDPA legal. They come standard as IDPA legal. And that means also IDPA has the strictest standards out of all the competition styles. And you can add different attachments onto the back of it and you can change it around to what you need it to be depending on your competition venue. I suppose on the subject, or what are some features competition people look for? Uh, a level two, actually. So a rotating hood. This is probably one of the most required features that we're seeing from every uh, from the customers lately. Is everybody wants to make sure they don't travel and pay all the time for the match fees and everything else just to ND, and then have to go to Dairy Queen and and uh, lick their <laughs> wounds. Or what would you say sets apart a competition holster from other holsters as far as feature? Uh, the biggest feature is obviously the, the ride, the way that it sits. Uses a, right now we use a tech lock clip to be able to ride on your belt. Would you say they have more opening for easier? Uh, they easier? do. They do. One of, the, one of the requirements or one of the adjustments with IDPA is they want that speed cut. So it allows them to get the holster out a little bit quicker and move a little bit more forward uh, then, to be able to get into the draw and faster. And say a, a tactical version usually has more coverage? Yes, absolutely. Right on. What else we got? So these are our outside the waistband coverts that are redone. We added adjustable retention to them and then we have some strengthening ribs along the sides of it to allow for durability. Uh, we have adjustable ride height on the sides. Everything has a red dot cutout for it. It will fit everything from uh, an oversized SRO to anything on the market right now to uh, down to anything smaller. And then the bottoms are all open depending on compensators, threaded barrels, and things like that. I suppose since I've, I've been out of the, the latest gen stuff, do you have to fight whether or not the front sights are in front of the red dots these days, or, or you just assume that is cut wise? We assume it cut wise. So whatever they're going to add, we actually ex we actually open it up all the way up to the breech of the muzzle. So if they want to put the front sight or the rear sight in the front of the before the uh, the dot or after the dot, it'll accommodate any comp any style that they want to do. Right. So I haven't haven't run into that issue with any combination so far. No, none. Uh, the Acros fit fine, the SROs. Uh, we actually allow for a little bit more room than just the SRO. So this way, if somebody decides to re-engineer something a little bit bigger and comes out with something a little bit bigger, uh, we right. should be able to accommodate that as well. Thinking ahead. That's right. So we took a lot of the same things and we put that into our covert, our inside line. Uh, we added our proprietary clips to them. We actually have a, a, a little bit of a wedge, we call it a shield that sits behind it that actually helps it from sliding back and forth. Uh, we added the, the retention bumps that we were talking about before. We actually have, we redid the way we do our wedge in the back, retention wedge, and it's a lot more comfortable, a lot more durable, and it actually is made to work in conjunction with our Alpha series that I'll get to next, and it actually complements it. Great, and what would you say your clip does that you weren't finding in other clips? It's a little bit wider because it gives a lot more traction on the belt. The problem that we felt we were having 
for us as we were using it and then the end users was the, the standard clip that everybody uses, the belt, the gun will slide all over the place. And you know, one of the most important things obviously is having the gun where you want it whenever you need to use it in, the, in a concealment situation. So we felt that a little bit of a, a concaveness design in the back of the clip along with a little bit wider to grip the belt. And then we actually give it a little bit of grip on the so inside of it. If you can see the little shield on the inside of it, that'll actually help grab the belt from the backside and helps it keep in place a lot more sturdier. This looks like it creates a natural bite. It does. Rock. So then we have the upgraded version of that and that's our alpha upgraded version. So it's the covert, but it also adds in our proprietary concealment wing. Uh, that we do in conjunction with uh, Darkstar, and Tom over there. And then we have our own uh, metal clips that we have. We, we found that ours, as far as durability uh, and functionality, uh, are very in line with everything else that's out there. Uh, the thing that we feel we do a little bit better is the ability to get it on the holster and off of the holster when we want to is a lot, a lot more user-friendly so try and get people to wear their guns more so and less and of be a able hassle. To, absolutely so this way being able to take the gun and the holster and the gun and just slide it in is great and then deliberately pulling back on the clips to, with one finger and being able to pull that out and dismount it with with one finger on the clips is probably the most important part for us lastly we have our mod one updated to our gen 6 a lot of the same technology and a lot of the same des design philosophy that we use into our covert line we put into our mod one but we also added a little bit more to it as well so the idea with the mod one is it's obviously a modular system where if you want a mag here you can we have uh flashlights coming for it a cuff case coming for it and it will actually hinge with the body so depending on your body shape if you are a little bit a little bit more than what God designed you to be. You can add it out a little bit like I have to, or, you know, obviously like you monkey, you can, you can actually contour <laughs> it a little bit better. And once you find your body's contour, you actually just take this and turn it a half a turn and it locks it into place. So it allows it to stay contoured to your body the way that you run, you like to run it. Or I suppose one could even leave it loose and Absolutely. have some flexibility. Absolutely. And everything is guaranteed for life. We decided to increase the thickness on all the all the Kydex. So uh, for us, that eliminated any kind of warranty issues that we were having in the past. And we felt that it would give the, the end user a, a lifetime durable product. So we warranty everything for life. Uh, as long as you are trying to use it as a holster and not a tent stake or <laughs> a carpenter hammer, uh, we will- Truck hitch. Yeah, truck hitch. <laughs> we will warranty it for anything you guys need. Right. And frankly, if you're not happy with it, we'll take it back because we don't want anybody having a product that they're not gonna use and feel that it will protect them. With, uh, and oh, save it's a great standard. Day. I suppose, before I forget, what's, uh, for those who may be familiar, what's the story with the, the step arm? Oh, the concealment wing? Uh, sorry, I don't know the name, but- yes. uh, The wing? Uh, yep. yep. Okay. So the reason, the reason why we decided to build our own and design our own concealment wing was we felt that some of the wings on the market did a, a reasonable job helping with concealment. But if you look at ours, ours actually helps it conceal on two different angles. So what it does is it obviously helps tuck it, the gun into the body, but because of this angle, what it does is it helps rotate the butt of the gun in and tuck it in on two different and two different access planes. So we felt that that this would complement our system the, mo the best. Nice. So I've seen some places do like a big bulge. So that's kind of more of a smaller footprint to for that yeah, problem. Absolutely. The, the problem with the, the bigger bulges that we found for us when we were running was it was genuinely uncomfortable in certain situations. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little deceiving to stand there at a gun counter or at our booth or anything and put it on and stand there and do the movements and say, oh, that fits good but go sit in a car or actually go train with it and see what's digging and where, how it feels and what's good and what's not. And that's one of the things that we did with our previous versions. And we really tried to evolve that into what we felt was a good angle and a good system that's gonna work for everybody in all situations.
Right. Certainly good to do the, the final field test for sure. Well, is that your, your main package or any last words? Um, if you check us out at SHOT Show and you, uh, and, and you check Monkey's stuff uh, after SHOT Show, you're going to see a, a whole new light bearing line and maybe or maybe not, uh, we might have our duty line ready by then. Sweet. Well, looking so, forward to it. And we're still trying to figure out what we're going to name it. Um, I want to name it the Trooper. <laughs> I don't know why. It just maybe because I love Iron Maiden, but I haven't figured out why. But Solid if anybody start. has a good suggestion that they can put in the comments of a, a good duty holster's name, I'll take it. If, if nobody suggests it, we're calling it the Trooper. And our mark, my marketing manager, shaking her head behind the camera. <laughs> we're going to call it the Trooper or the Super Trooper. We'll, we'll start some wild pulls. See where they go. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks. Thanks again for taking the time to show us. No, thank you guys, and thanks, Monkey. I appreciate it. If you like this video and want to support us, check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.